All right, so in the previous video, we updated um, we updated this component state uh, with a well, a complicated struct, uh, something that has two different um, uh, two different fields in it. Let's go take a look at the code really quickly. Uh, so we have our data struct with our username and our count, um, and then to sort of deal with that, we have to clone that entire struct, uh, update the one little field of it field of it, and then and then go on. Um, however, this is, uh, we're going to be replacing this one here. Um, however, a user of, uh, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced this uh, really badly, I threw this through Google Translate, but uh, Nicolay um, has uh, suggested that uh, we instead use the brand new, or at least New, new as far as I'm concerned, uh, the struct update syntax. So this is a new feature in Rust that allows us to uh, pull in just what we want and leave everything else the same. So it's uh, actually very similar to um, uh, a spread syntax inside of JavaScript, if you're used to that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and implement this and sort of like see how this is going to work. So come back to here. Uh, we want to update our username. So uh, we can now do this in just a single line. Uh, basically, we're going to start with our clone state, and we're going to set. OK, and what are we going to set? We're going to set this data. So we want a brand new data. Um, in the data, we need the username, which we have the username. And it's the exact same spelling. So we can just say username. Um, that's great. That replaces that. Uh, if you remember in Rust, if you just do um, the field is the same name as like the actual uh, value um, or variable, then it's like the equivalent of username colon username. That allows us to now do dot dot. And then we have to put in like the previous data uh, to get that. That's going to be in this clone state. So we're going to deref that out and clone it. Uh, so that way, that will go in here. So we're going to say our clone state. Um, we're going to deref that and then clone it. And that's it. That is how we can uh, now in one line, which I, I have to admit, comparing these two methods, that's very clean. Um, so I like this a lot. So thank you very much, Nikolai, for that. Uh, let's come back to our uh, view here and just make sure that things are still working. So if I just say our username, Brooks, uh, that is still updating state. Uh, so anyways, um, that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks once again, Nicolay, for the suggestion. Um, and happy coding. See you in the next video. Bye.